Hello community. So we have ChatGPT 3 So what we have? Okay, 3 04 Mini, 04 Mini High, great at visual and coding, great. 03 Advanced Reasoning. So we go with 03. Beautiful, we can search the web, we can have deep research. 8, available May 1. Okay, view tools, canvas, beautiful. So what we do, we do the logic test, you know. My simple extreme logic test that I developed here for Strawberry. So, we are live. You see what I see. This is the very first time I use ChatGPT 3 Let's have a look. Reasoning. Do I see the reasoning? No, I don't see the reasoning. Or, no, I cannot click on reasoning. So, I don't see the reasoning happening. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Defining the complexity ratings, yeah. Considering high and low, time to start implementing. Okay, so I get a summary of the reasoning, okay. Assigning values like one for the lowest, seven for extreme high, moderator I'm picking four. So very general stuff, but not the real chain of thought reasoning traces. We are waiting here in real time. You see it is here. Together with me. And we are just waiting for O3. Finally, the main O3 model. Not anymore. O3 mini high or whatever. So let's see. So, no node found. Retry. Great. Beautiful. So, first start. Not really what we have been looking for. No note found. This is an interesting error statement. Okay. Analyzing ether tools, print mathematics. Ah, nice. It's going automatically a tool use. Nice. I think it was Python. Let me have a closer look. Reasoning manually. I'm working through the clues about the wizard, the artifact, the field, the familiars, and the complexity readings. Yes, okay. Let's continue for here. So this is now interesting. Does he use the tool and just creates here a Python code? Does he go for any logic script? What's doing? Is he arguing step by step in a linguistic way? Let's move forward. We know that some artifacts, yeah. Now figuring out where each wizard fits with their fields and their artifacts. So keep reasoning to make sure we get everything in the correct order. So we just get again here just the meta thinking. We do not really see the reasoning steps. Open your eyes a little bit afraid to show us here the internal reasoning. Okay, so they decided to go with some general remarks. With some summarization here of the reasoning. But yeah, this is more from a planning tool and not from a reasoning agent. So let's wait. Let's. Oh, one minute 43 seconds. Beautiful. Holistic outline. Let's just have a look what he is doing. He, she, it is doing. No contradiction. Wow. Well, let's have a look. Holistic outline, yep. Okay. Fix all complexity ranks. Detailed destruction, yep. Final association. Let's have a look. This looks good. This looks really good. This looks more or less excellent. This looks correct. Wow. Even with the complexity added, this is nice. Okay. I kind of like this. You know what we do next? We say, hey, we say just verify your answer. Isn't this beautiful? So let's have a look. Oh, we start again with the reasoning. Okay, we are still reasoning. Oh, that was fast. 16 seconds. Yep. Step one, check. Step two, check. Three, check. Four, check. Five, check. 
six, check, 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 nine, check, ten, check. Beautiful. Ten, eleven, twelve. Really nice. All fifteen, check. And then we have the seven complexity clues. Yeah. Okay. A, B, C. Yeah. Yep. 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 Fully verify the solution. Nice. This is very nice. This is impressive. Wow. Okay. So this is the first time. One minute, 43 seconds. And it got the solution right. Even with the added complexity, I did not have here the last column, the complexity column in my other tests. Cool. I have to tell you, O3, really impressive. So I just say, hey, is there another valid solution to my extreme logic test? Can you find one? So here we go again. We are reasoning, beautiful. Should be fast, should be real fast to use Python. Hey, another valid solution. I could use Python to either tools, math, time, JSON, sys. So it is doing the analyzing. Nice. Okay. One triggers incorporate complexity clues in order. Yes, a dictionary for the wizard. Track the user artifacts and the rating. Time to start coding. So it is using tool. What a beautiful tool use. Look at this. Absolutely yes. Real nice. So it writes here some beautiful Python code. To verify no contradiction, I design a function called check partial. This will check if any partial assignment of artifacts contradict the clues. Each clue will be encoded carefully, ensuring that yes, yes, yes. This is tagland for the complexity rating and using a relative system. That's okay. First, ignore the numerics rating. Okay. Numerics rating back. Whatever you have as an internal representation, now it's time to implement. Analyzing. Analyzing. Okay. So it's coding. It's running. There are 17 possible solutions. What? Really? Coding? This is a code LLM. I love it. It's a tool use. Finally, this is what it should have been all along. I found three, hey, I found three unique mappings to satisfy all original clues. Nice. Analyzed here in a mathematical way. Okay. Further analyzed. Hey, wait a minute. Real nice. Mapping one. My previous printout got truncated by some overlap in the loops. The art map and the field map printed correctly, but the field map showed due to the way it was presented. Let's try to fix this. Okay. Self-reflective. I love it. I cannot follow this. I have to see this then quietly because I want to see this with you in real time. Still get truncated, probably due to reasoning the tuple of list incorrectly. Let's give it another try. Okay, so after 2 minutes and 24 seconds, coding is done. A second internally consistent assignment system, verify every queue. Beautiful. Why not a solution is possible? And then lay out one concrete alternative in full and walk through the points. Real nice. Why the puzzle admits more than one model? Yeah, Helium Griffin, Elemental and Pegasus. Yeah, this is it. Absolutely. Complexity. Okay. One fully valid alternative. Okay. Yeah. We have an exchange here. This is a freedom, an inherent internal freedom of the system. Yes, I designed it in this way. That's okay. Takeaway. Has more than one solution. Yes, this is correct would restore uniqueness. No, I don't want uniqueness. Nice. So you see, in the reasoning process, we do see the reasoning process. There's a lot of Python programming going on. Can I see this thought process? Oh, yeah. There is now done. I think I left here now. I'm working with the clues. Let's move forward a step. I'm going to configure this out. Healing can't be this. Done. So, analyzed. So, it is really doing this here in pure Python. So nice.
because every puzzle more or less you can transform somehow in some computer code. And it is not trying to sync this step by step in a linguistic solution, but of course the complexity belongs to a code solution. So nice. Okay. I don't read this now here because we are live, but the result is correct, so I suppose this is also correct. Editing canvas. Ah, oh, okay. I have here my canvas. Beautiful. Anything else? No. Okay, this looks good. Take away. O3. O3, really impressive. Beautiful. Okay, let's say canvas. Thank you. Let's do a second one. Eh? I tell you now, hey, solve the logic riddle in the most effective way. You are trapped in a skyscraper. Your goal is to reach the floor 30, starting from the ground floor zero. You have buttons A, B, C, D, E. If you know my channel, you know this is my standard test. I do now for more than 11 months. I have here an extra layer of complexity with two trap floors. And we know it is a six button press solution here in the elevator. This is the solution. And there are more than one solution. So let's have a look at GPT-03. You are again live with me here. I have to say the first part here, absolutely impressive here, the logic reasoning. Brett first search algorithm, okay. Understood here the button presses here. The goal is to reach floor. Okay, we go with Python, great. Buttons A, B, C, D, shortest path, yeah. BFS algorithms implemented in code, beautiful. It's not trying to go step by step by any any combinatorial linguistic combination. Just say, hey, listen, I programmed this in Python and this is it. Hey, nice, we have a new layout here. Wow, it goes now all the screen, beautiful. Six button presses, no shorter root exists. This is correct, 42 seconds, absolutely impressive. A, B, A, A, B, D. We have 27, D. Yeah, this is correct. Nice. Why no root can be shorter? This is nice. Okay, BFS, yeah. Only D is allowed, yeah. Automatic rebound, yeah. Six presses is optimal. Path replay. The root never touches a trap floor, correct. Yep, correct. The cleanest solution. Beautiful. And now I ask again, do other valid solutions exist? You are live with me here, but wow, O3, my goodness, this is impressive. Yes, other valid solution exist. Yep. Error. Trackback. Not supported between instances. Self-correcting. Okay. Analyzing. Changed, visited incorrectly. Incorrectly is not good. Okay. Analyzing. Prime, analyzing, analyzing. Another code, another code sequence. Yep. Analyzing now the traces. Okay. Paths, all the different paths here with length six. Okay. Now something is happening. I have no idea what it's doing. One minute. Yep, because the search explores all possible strictly increasing length six presses is minimal. Okay. All 20 shorter solutions fall in two underlying floor itineraries. Okay. All right, each is a string of six letters. Okay. So, wait a minute, you want to tell me there are 20 other sequences? 
So I say, so you say that there are 20 other valid six step button presses in my elevator that are a valid solution to my riddle? This is now surprising. 20 other is quite a lot. Reasoning. No. Okay. There are 20 distinct six press sequences. There are 19 other six press solution. Complete set. Eight sequences. There are 19 other solution, honestly. So, but if you look now at those, only three distinct shortest floor path represented by the 20 provided button sequences. Now it gets interesting. Different sets, yeah, maybe misquoting, not quite. Two different floor paths. Oh. They are just two distinct step-by-step -step journeys through the building. This is what I thought. So we have 1, 5, 11, 23, 27, 30, yeah. And 3, 7, 11, 23, 27, 30, absolutely. So every six press solution hits one of the two chain of flow and no other. Those chains are disjoint of the first two hops and merge at the flow 11. Okay. But what about path B? So path B starts with D. Ah, path A starts with A and B. And path B starts with D Vidora. Okay. Pressing D, first jumps to floor 3, second press A, B, or carries to floor 7, this is the start of path B. So while there are 20 different button sequences of minimal length, they collapse onto two distinct step-by-step -step journeys through the building. Not bad, it almost tricked me, it almost tricked me, but cool. ChatGPT 3 here, first look? Yep, I can recommend this.